solve and check the following equation. So we have 7x minus 4 equals 8 plus 6x. And so in this problem, we have to solve for x. So to solve for x, we want to get everything with an x on one side by itself. So you can do it in two steps or in one step. I'll start by subtracting 6x from both sides. You know what, let's do it in, in one step. And then uh, to get rid of the 4, we'll just add 4 to both sides. So these cancel, these cancel. So you're left with 7x minus 6x, that's x, and that's equal to 12. And that is the final answer. We could check our answer. Uh, to check our answer, we would plug it back into the original. So the original equation was 7x minus 4 equals 8 plus 6x. And so we would just take the 12 and you would plug it in for your x's right here. That's where you put the 12. And if it's true, if the equation is true, then it's the correct solution. If it's false, then the solution is wrong. Uh, generally, when you have a linear equation like this, if you do it correctly, you never really have to check. But let's, let's do it for fun. <laughs> 7 times 12 minus 4. And the question is, is that equal to 8 plus 6 times 12? So let's see, 7 times 12. So how do you do that in your head? Um, the way I do it is 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 70 is 84. So 84 minus 4 is equal to 8 plus, and then 6 times 12 is 72. So 80 is equal to 80. Yep, so this is indeed the correct solution. Hope that made sense.